This week marked the beginning of Chris Iannetta's 12th season in professional baseball. However, this will be the catcher's first with the Arizona Diamondbacks. You kind of become accustomed to the drill, you know, you know what it's like to get to know a new staff, you know what it's like to get to know guys personally and professionally. So yeah, it definitely helps when you've been through it a few times. Iannetta has already established himself as one of the vocal leaders on the team. And for the Diamondbacks, one of their top pitching prospects, Anthony Bonda, he says it really makes a difference. Just knowing him, him that he, he knows what he's talking about, he knows you know, the game, you know, he, he, he understands young pitchers just as well as any other, you know, older guys. After Wellington Castillo left for the Orioles in the offseason, Chris Herman, who hit 284 in 56 games for the Diamondbacks last year, seems to be in a good position to earn the starting spot. Over the last three months, the Diamondbacks have signed four catchers. In addition to Ionetta, Jeff Mathis was also added to the 40-man roster, whereas veterans Hank Conger and Josh Tolley were signed to minor league contracts. Starting catchers catch 100 games now, you know, that 110 games. That's, that's, that's the new normal, but um, where that falls for our guys has yet to be determined. I think the spirit of competition brings out the most in a lot of guys, and, and uh, it's going to be a very competitive camp. It's just a matter of what can we do for the pitching staff, what can we do to help them win and, and be the best that they can be, and you know, everything else takes care of itself. At Salt River Fields, Troy Lynch, Cronkite News.